Hey everyone, my name is Hannah and I am here to review my most recent EF Ultimate Break Trip which was to Egypt in May of this year. So I went on the Egypt expedition trip. It was 10 days and it was an amazing mix of seeing historical sites, seeing the pyramids, museums, temples, and then also finishing out the trip by the beach, hanging out on a boat, and relaxing for the last few days. So if this sounds like a vacation to you, a little mix of history, seeing historical sites, seeing temples and pyramids and um, all of that historical aspect of Egypt, but then also being able to relax, see a bit of the east side of the country, which is mostly the Red Sea and some of the beach areas, then this is the trip for you. So I will go into a little more detail. To get started, I'll run you through the itinerary pretty quickly. So we spent a few days starting off in Cairo. We went down to Luxor and then we finished out in Hurghada. Went back to Cairo for one last day before we all flew out. So overall, I believe the itinerary was perfectly uh, put together because you got to see the historical sites and you see the temples and the pyramids and everything that was, you know, mostly historical at the beginning. And then we ended in Hurghada, which was more of the beach and the boat and a lot of relaxing days. So EF did a really great job as far as the itinerary goes. I feel like we got to see everything that was on my list and they really fulfilled a lot of the things that everybody wanted to see. Next, I'll go into a little more detail about the accommodations for this trip, which actually surprisingly were really nice throughout the trip. I paid a little extra to go on the Ultimate Plus version of this trip, and it was definitely worth it. The hotels were absolutely gorgeous. They were very, very safe. A lot of them were updated, very clean, modern, and had you know pools and a lot of great amenities. A lot of them were all-inclusive, meaning that we could get food you know, really at any, any given time, a lot of buffets throughout the trip. So the accommodations for this trip were very, very nice. I felt safe the entire time and some of the best accommodations I've had on, out of the three trips with EF so far. As far as the food goes, at the beginning, it was really tasty. It was a lot of Egyptian cuisine, which got me really excited. That's exactly what I wanted to try, especially the welcome dinner. We had such a great selection of all of the different flavors and different items that are typical in Egyptian cuisine. So that was really exciting to start off that trip. But to be fully transparent throughout the rest of the trip, it was a lot of buffets, a lot of plain type of food. So if you are looking to get typical Egyptian cuisine outside of what is offered at the beginning, I would highly suggest going outside of the hotels. We did that towards the end of the trip and it was really nice to get back to some of that food that we enjoyed at the beginning. Another tip on the food, again, just to be fully transparent, I definitely brought some anti-diarrheal and stomach medication for this trip because some of this food we're not used to back in the States. And then again, their water is highly chlorinated. So you have to be very careful drinking the water out of the sink or out of the tap. They did a great job of providing water bottles throughout the entire trip. So I didn't feel like we were put in an unsafe situation or had to drink out of the tap water. It's just something to keep in mind. So bringing that medication can really help. I know halfway through the trip, my stomach started to disagree with me. So I think just bringing some of that medication is very clutch for that trip. Again, this is just me being completely transparent and preparing you for this trip. It was very helpful to have this medication on hand. And although it only happened one or two days of the trip, I feel like having that medication stopped it right away. The excursions and kind of what we did during our time in Egypt. So there was only one excursion that we paid for that was the hot air balloon ride. It was so worth it. I enjoyed myself so much. It was such a great time to be up in the air to see Egypt overall. And it was super incredible to be up when the sun was rising. It was definitely worth that 4 a.m. wake up call. So that was the only excursion outside of what was offered for the trip. But overall, since it was an ultimate plus, you got tickets to all of the museums, the temples, seeing the pyramids, the transportation to and from. So it made it super easy to see everything. The only thing we had to pay extra for, for example, was to see King Tut or to see anything else outside of what the museum offered if there was um, extra options. So overall, the spending money and just the, the excursions and what we did, I felt like I did not spend a whole lot outside of a couple meals that weren't provided. I bought a cartouche, which was my choice, and a lot of people bought some jewelry throughout the trip or maybe some other souvenirs, but the great part is, um, because there's only one extra excursion and because a lot of it is included, you really aren't spending a whole lot extra on top of what you spent for the trip, which was really nice. 
A common question I was asked during the trip is how safe I felt during the entire trip. And to be honest, I felt safe the entire time. Not only did we have a very knowledgeable tour guide that spoke Arabic and that was grown up in Egypt and knows everything about it, has been a tour director for 25 years. Um, she made us feel very, very safe and, and was at our beck and call if we needed anything at all. We also had a security guard with us at all time, which I know that is a part of the Egypt government's requirements if you're traveling in, I believe, with a group of two or more people. So it was really nice just to have a security guard. He was armed, he had a suit on, and he would follow us around to all of the sites to make sure that we were safe. It was just an extra measure of precaution, and um, we just felt very safe with that security guard with us at all times. Not that anything was going to happen or um, you know he prevented anything, but he was just there in case, which was a really good feeling. Um, we had a great bus driver we switched in every city but um, you know again made us feel really safe he would be by the buses while we were out exploring making sure that um, you know our stuff was safe on the bus and that we didn't feel um, threatened or anything by anyone trying to enter the bus so those couple things made us feel really safe and again mentioning the accommodations a lot of them were gated you have you had to have a pass to enter um just felt really safe during the whole trip and i mean we were in a group of 30 people so it's not like you're straying alone or you know going alone to some of these sites you're in a group i felt very safe throughout that entire time because of that um, and not only because of our tour guide and then also um, our security guard throughout the trip Another thing that a lot of people asked is, are just about packing tips or tips and tricks. I would say um, number one on the list is to bring a portable fan. It is very hot in Egypt and some of the locations didn't have um, air conditioning like some of the hotels or some of the temples. So just having a portable fan either on the bus or in your purse, um, you know, was actually a really good addition for me and a, and a tip I would say. And I would also say to bring low Egyptian pounds um, to get into some of these restrooms you not only have to pay to get into the restroom but also another tip would be bringing travel size toilet paper I got mine off of Amazon and it was clutch even on the bus there was a toilet but there was not a um, you know any toilet paper so I definitely bring some toilet paper as well as hand sanitizer. Um, on the know before you go guide for this trip, they do say that a lot of the bathrooms are pretty bare. It is true. So just make sure not only to bring low Egyptian pounds to get into the bathroom. I know this is typical in Europe as well, but also to bring toilet paper and then also hand sanitizer to make sure you are ultra prepared. Another thing I would suggest is getting your visa when you arrive to the airport, not before. A lot of us applied for the visa before, we paid $25 and we ended up not hearing back until after we got the trip to the trip that we were either declined or not approved for no good reason. So we just wasted $25 of getting it approved. I know EF suggests to do it beforehand, but honestly, just do it when you get to the airport. You'll just go right before you get to customs um, and check out and get a visa. It's super easy. Same thing, $25 and they put it in your passport and you're good to go. So I'd highly recommend getting the visa on arrival and not beforehand. Lastly, what I would suggest is there are gonna be a lot of times where you're going without food. So for example, you're getting up at 4 a.m. for the hot air balloon ride, you're not eating breakfast till 8 or 9 a.m. when you get back to the hotel. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend bringing snacks on this trip. There's gonna be multiple times where you're either getting up early or you're seeing temples most of the day and you're not getting back to the hotel to eat lunch or not you know, being able to go out outside of the temple for a few hours and just having snacks either on the bus or back at the hotel was extremely clutch when we didn't have time to eat. So that would be um, one of my last tips on here. Another few things to keep in mind is that Egypt is a Muslim country, meaning that they do not have a ton of alcohol in the country. So if you are looking for a trip where you're gonna go out every night, you're gonna have a good time, you're gonna drink alcohol, this is not the trip for you. I would highly recommend looking into another trip um, if you're looking for more of that party aspect. But um, although there was not a ton of alcohol, it was still so much fun to get to know the group. Yes, some hotels did have you know, a few mixed drinks. There was beer, there was maybe wine, but just know that alcohol is just definitely not present in every single location, which again was not a big deal, but I don't think some people were prepared uh, with that knowledge. 
Secondly, the tap water we were told is highly chlorinated and not safe to drink out of or even brush your teeth with. So EF did a really good job and, and the hotels in general of providing us water at all times. So I didn't feel like we had to go out of our way to get water bottles. They were always on hand, which was really nice, but just know ahead of time, um, just like Mexico or some of these other countries, um, it is just advised to not drink out of the sink or the tap water and to have a water bottle even when brushing your teeth. So so just again something to keep in mind so overall you've heard about the accommodations the itinerary some tips and tricks a little bit more about Egypt and what was included with this trip so if you are looking to go to Egypt there's no better way than with EF ultimate break if you're anywhere between the ages of 18 to 35 then you can go on any of their trips on their site they have trips as short as six days all the way up to 60 days and everything in between so i would highly recommend looking at ef site especially with the egypt expedition and you can also use my code ua hannah 100 to get a hundred dollars off if you have any questions at all or are just curious about this trip go to my instagram i have a lot of um I have a lot of stories and you know reels that I have saved about tips and tricks and some FAQs on there. And then also on my TikTok, I do make videos quite often of my trips that I go on. So either way, reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will make a few more about Egypt in the coming weeks. Thank you. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> I was at lunch. Then when I'm thirsty, I drink their blood. <laughs> then we got a psycho cannibal over here. <laughs> How do they fit in this? Oh my god.